Welcome back to my YouTube tutorial. This is ABN Graph. On this particular tutorial today, we are just going to learn how to do this particular simple dual lighting, uh, dual lighting effect in Photoshop. And this particular thing is normally for graphic designers and then for photographers who are just to do that. So let me just copy these two images over there so that we can put it there. Now we have two pictures, and this particular two pictures that we are going to use for that particular dual lighting effect. First of all, I'm going to use this particular distance how do you do that in photoshop so first of all what we need to do over this display is that after putting up the picture in photoshop all what you need to do is to come to adjustment layer over here then you come and pick a gradient this particular dual distance you can either use one or two gradient to do that so first of all we are just going to use this particular this one and then when i have it like that i'm just going to tilt it so that it will go this way I think over there will be okay for me just like this I think this is okay for me then I click OK then when I click OK just like that the next thing I'm going to do is to change the blending mode to what to uh, color and that looks so beautiful and some may even try to use uh, overlay you know all that and some will use cream and some will use that but the best thing to do or the best option to use from this particular distance is to pick up which one color and that looks so beautiful and then you can duplicate it again then when you duplicate it then you change the what the color over there again you can change the color to any kind of color you wish for so let me just pick red then you can have it just like that and all what you need to do is to reverse it just like that and it looks so beautiful for you so this is how the dual lighting effect is being designed or, or is being done with uh, in photoshop and it's very simple it doesn't need more stress and all that the next thing we have to do is to let's do the same thing to this picture again uh go to adjustment layer you come and pick your gradient then this is how you have it then you tilt it that way so that you go this way you want it to be that place that will be okay then you change it to what to color that looks so beautiful then you move your distance again and then you reverse it this side then when you reverse it that side you do what you change the color to any color that you wish to use yes without any much problem you can use any color that you wish and this one to look so beautiful yes so there is how the dual lighting effects uh, uh, that particular trick in Photoshop will normally do that and you can change the color to any kind of color you wish for and that one also looks that perfect for you and it doesn't you can use any kind of color you know just to make it so distinct you get that yes and then you can use this color that's so beautiful and then you can also come over there and then you can change that same color over there to the different color that match up with your your expectation you get that so it doesn't always mean that you can use blue and red but you can keep changing to use any kind of color that looks so beautiful for you and then you can use that without any problem so you can have it just like that you can use the same blue there that looks so good and then that ends the problem and then the, the the second method people normal do or people are doing is that some will just pick a brush tool over here then when they pick their brush tool let me close up these things and then all what they need to do is to brush up this side they will create a new layer and then they will start brushing up just this side just like that some normal do that and then they'll brush up that side they'll just brush it just like that you get that and then the next thing again they normally do is that after brushing up just like that the next thing they do is that they will copy this particular distance control j and then when they copy when they do that they, they they duplicate it and then they they flip it that side and then they will just bring it somewhere here and then they have it just like that you get that and then the next thing they have to do over this particular this one they will change the color the different color either red or blue or any kind of color you wish for so let me just use red and then they can have it just like that as you can see and then they will select the two things and then they'll do what they'll convert it to a smart object and when it is converted to a smart object they change the blinding mode to what to color and that one still looks so beautiful you get that yes so that is how the dual lighting effect is is the normal do it in photoshop and then you can have it just like that you can add up two more colors just to have 
your design looks so beautiful you get that yes so let's come back to this particular place again and the same thing here you can do the same thing to over there too and that one looks so beautiful and then the next thing again i'm going to show you is that you can create a new layer then you can come and pick a, a gradient tool over here then when you pick that gradient tool you pick the, this particular this thing then when you pick that one all what you need to do over there is that you can decide to change the color let's say let's change the color to uh, this particular color it's okay and then let's push it up a little bit and then you can have it just like that but what they normally do is that they'll start from here they'll drag it to this side so when they drag it you see that that particular distance will affect only there we say that it will affect over here and then they will change that the same thing some will change you to lighting and some will change you to screen and some will change you to that same color there you see that so you to have some kind of view and some will change you to soft and so you know it just depend on you have to check through which one is the best for you then you can use that screen it looks so distant over there you see that so that is how the dual effects or this kind of thing is happening in photoshop and it doesn't need more stress and some will come and pick a, a, a tool over here called it ellipse tool or circle tool and then they'll just draw something like this over there just like that and the next thing they have to do leave it that way and then they right click and do what and rasterize the layer when they rasterize the layer they will come to filter then when they go to blur and they'll come and pick gasm blur or motion blur let's use gasm blur for now then when you use gasm blur for that that is how you have it over there just like that and then they'll do uh, they'll do the same thing by by changing the what the blending mode to what to color screen or a soft or soft you know overlay those kind of things you get that so let's choose lighting that is how we have and then we scream that is what we are going to get and then this that is what we are getting this that is what we are getting so it's just making the image so emotionally you know making the image look so different you know so that is how that part kind of this thing is doing so you can they can either set it up somewhere here so that it will look somehow this thing over there you get that and when they on on up this way and then we on up this particular place too it looks so distant and it looks the environment there it looks so um, somehow beautiful you get that yes so that is how the dual uh, lighting has been uh, done with abn graphics thank you very much for watching this abn graphics and have a nice day bye bye